Hi everyone, welcome to Ask an Armorer. My name's Kia and it is that time of year again. We are off to the first big team tournament of the season. So yes, it is RMC this weekend, which is always a lot, a lot of fun. We get the whole team going, we get the bus to travel on, and it's just a really good weekend for both competition and for team bonding. Um, as you can see behind me, I've got a whole slew of stuff that are we that are going. We've got the usual suspects. We've got three team bags, one per weapon, loaded up with a bunch of backups so that hopefully everybody is good to go on those ones. Um, I have an extra machine and pair of reels that we're going to bring. Again, just contributing to the general tournament, and these will be used as backups in case something breaks on the way. And then finally, my personal clothing and toiletries, as well as my toolbox, full with as much as I can possibly fit to deal with as many possible breaks that could happen. But of course, we always keep fingers and toes crossed that hopefully we get very little breaks um, and that everything goes as smoothly as possible. So I'm going to get everything laid out in the uh, dance studio now to wait for people to arrive and then start giving it to the assigned people who are going to take care of each item to make sure it gets on the bus. But of course, there's always some last minute repairs. All right, we are set to go. As you can see now behind me, it's completely empty in here. All of the team equipment and individual equipment has gone downstairs, they're waiting at the bus. All I have left is my toolbox and my personal backpack. So I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes here. I'm just waiting for the final confirmation from our coach that everyone is indeed here and on the bus. So I'm just gonna hang out a couple more minutes just to make sure everything is all set before I lock up, get on the bus, and we're gonna get on our way. We are now in Kingston. Just to give you a bit of a timeline of kind of our travels, um, we left at about 7.15 from Toronto, um, stopped for dinner at about eight o'clock somewhere on the way, and yeah, now it is just past 11 that we are here. So I'm gonna get changed into some PJs because we've got a very early morning tomorrow. All right, good morning, everyone. We are here at the, at the venue. So, so far everything's gone pretty smoothly. Got our taxis from the hotel over here. So now we've got, as you can see behind me, everyone's just getting their stuff out. And then over here somewhere, is where the armory line is. So I'm gonna make sure that everything is where it needs to be. And then, yeah, we're gonna see how fencing goes. We're going. So as first mornings always are, regardless of if you are running the tournament or if you are just here with the team, it's been hectic. Uh, we've already had multiple weapon and body cord failures. We've had gloves go missing or fail, lames fail, whole nine yards. But uh, thankfully we do have a vendor here as well as I have some backups that we could use. So we have figured it all out. Everybody is happy again. We're all signed in. So yeah, so as you can see behind me, um, women's foil is here in the front. Men's Epe is further in the back. And we have two, te or two teams for Men's Epe and three teams here for women's foil. So I'm gonna go take a look, see how everybody's doing, see if there's any more repairs to get done, as well as maybe actually get some cool action shots while I'm here. First major um, switch up of the day for me. I'm gonna take the two foils. We're gonna take the yellow handle on the gray handle one because the yellow one's smaller, fits my fence's hand better. Not too bad. All right, there we go. Nice and swapped, or I'll get this back to my fencer now. All right, one more during lunch. It's a good time to get everything fixed up because there's a bit of a break. So this one, now it's apparently failing weight. So I'm gonna open it up, take a look at the spring. If I can, I'll just stretch it. I might need to just swap it out. We'll see. What are you looking 
first? Oh, okay. Oh. I shoved it in my pocket so I could carry it around with me. Yeah, I figured that's one that's easy to just have on hand. So here we go. We've got another one of our FAS coming in. He's just going to do some work on his FA over here, swap out the guard, and re-glue the wire a little bit. See? Our fencers know how to take care of their stuff, sometimes. All right, hi again, everyone. So it is just about 10 till quarter to three right now. Checking in a little bit. First off, I have a new fancy gator, which is very exciting. So representing a little bit of the uh, host team right now. Um, break up the solid navy blue that I am currently wearing. Um, but yeah, for a quick update, uh, two, both of our men's epi teams are still in and going strong. And two of our women's foil teams are still in. Unfortunately, one has, uh, the third team has gotten knocked out now. So, you know, we hope that they had gone further, but we're still rooting for the two that are in. And then Saber is in pools right now. Going pretty well so far, and I'm gonna go check in on them to see where they're at. Luckily, Saber goes pretty quickly though, so I'm expecting them to be in DPs not too, too long for now. Just about five o'clock, and unfortunately, we are starting to get to that point in the day when it's U of T versus U of T. So we've got U of T A on this side, made up of some of our varsity fencers, and then U of T alumni over here, waving at the camera. So we are in the eights right now, so not a bad place to be meeting up against each other. Obviously, we always wish that it's at the higher levels, but you know, it's still a good one. It guarantees somebody in the semis, which we're not mad about. Um, at this point, we still have one of our men's FA teams in. They're also currently fencing on the piece right back there. They're doing pretty well. Um, and then both our men's Sabre teams are still going. So, all in all, not a bad time. I still think we're going to be here for a while. So we'll see if we make our dinner reservation. And with that, men's Epe is going to finals. So that's really, really exciting. Again, and then this one back here is finishing up now. Oop, a little bit of technical trouble. Should I go over to help or should I run away? Let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Oh, they figured it out. It's okay. But yeah, so we have one team in the finals now and our men's saber is also just been called for the next rounds. So, all in all, going pretty well so far. And now U of T versus U of T is over. So it is our alumni team that's going to be going on into the semifinals, but overall a really close bout, um, you know, taking on coach sort of thing there. So. Really excited about that, and now we're going to go watch the FA Men's Gold Bout. Alrighty, good morning everybody. We are once again back in the RMC gym. Um, so a bit of a recap from yesterday. Forgot to give you sort of the overall what went on. We did end up taking the silver in men's FA and the bronze in women's foil. So excellent for those ones. Glad to have a couple medals from the first day. So we are now here, we've got the opposite events today. So we have men's foil to start the morning. They are all, where is it? Oops, there we go. All very nicely at the armory over there behind me, getting their stuff checked if they didn't do it yesterday. Uh, then we have women's epe, that is just a few minutes after men's foil to start. And then finally rounding out the day with some women's saber. So. We are hoping to have another good day today. Hopefully it has been daylight savings time, so everyone's had another hour to rest, which is always super helpful. And of course, we actually get to drive over when it's nice and sunny outside versus still dark, which 
isn't such a bad thing either. So I'm gonna go make sure everyone's doing okay, see that if anybody needs repairs this early in the morning. Um, and yeah, and I'm gonna drink my tea, because I I'm really need the caffeine anyway. I'm not quite certain what's going on here, but um, they found themselves the medicine ball, and it seems to be just the best game ever, apparently. One of our foil, or one of our epais, is going foil today, so he's getting a quick refresher course here. Again, I'm not entirely certain what's going on, but I'm glad they're enjoying themselves. <clears throat> and now we have a quick break. The piece is not grounding consistently. So Mark here is uh, the armor for the tournament, so he's just going to come in, add a bit more of the conductive tape, it looks like, uh, to make sure that that grounding cord actually holds really nice and securely. So we got a foil, once again it's failed weight, so we're going to open it up and we're going to get a picture in there. <laughs> All right, everyone, so quick check-in on the day. It is, ignore the clock behind me, it is not reset for daylight savings time, but it is just about 10 o'clock now. Um, or sorry, just about 11 o'clock now. Um, we have just finished pools, I believe, for both our men's foil and our women's FA teams. They've both done really, really well, or I suppose I should say all four of them have now done really, really well. So we're going to hang out, get start, or um, wait for DEs to get to I do actually a little bit right now. Um, thanks, Camille. And yeah, so we're all gonna get a break, get some water, get some food, and then start on DEs, and then wait for Saber to start at about noon. All right, so I just lied to you. Our women's epe is, our, both of our teams are still in pools, but they are on their last bout of pools. So, men's foil is done pools, women's epe is finishing up. And look at that wonderful show of teamwork while they switch each other's cords out. Hooking each other in. All right, it never ends. So, women's foil, one of the backs of a jacket just has a patch sewn onto it with her name. It was falling off, so we tried taping it. That didn't work. So we just added a bunch of safety pins Luckily, she is just finishing up the bout, so then she'll be able to um, sew it on properly. Rather than just having it falling off and being a catch point. And this one, probably hard to tell, but if you look right there, the wire's starting to strip. So I'm going to see what I can do just to cover it with some glue a little bit here. I don't have high hopes for it, but I'm going to try my best. This is my fencer's favorite weapon, of course. Um, and maybe it'll last for a little bit longer for her, but thankfully she has others, which is why you have backups. So I'm gonna get this matched up and get it back to her. Lunch time! So we just get a few platters of Subway sandwiches of various types. Got some cookies as well to treat our kids. Uh, but yeah, we're sort of in between rounds now, so everyone's grabbing some food. Say hi to David. It's going on YouTube, you know. So everyone will get well fueled up for the next rounds. And yeah, we will just have this here for the rest of the day so that people can come and go and keep themselves fueled as they need it. All right, so lunch is, for the most part, over. Quick meal. We've got Saber happening right behind me. Doing really well on this one. So this is the start of tools for Saber. So, I mean, it's Saber. It's not going to last that, that long because they're so fast. 
but they are just getting started. So we're going to, while we're waiting for the DEs for Foil and Epe to go, we'll keep an eye on our Saber Girls, see how they're doing, and also make sure people are still getting food to eat. So super fun one of the day. As you can see here, this mask strap has been completely ripped out. You can see the holes here and here where the rivets are. So we're at the armory here because this is not something I have the tools to do yet. And we're just going to get a couple new rivets in. The mask is wet. It's always <laughs> he, he was literally just fencing with it. I'm sorry. So for everyone who doesn't know, this is Antoine, owner and operator of IMEX. We go to him for a lot of things. So yeah, he's pretty great. If you're in Canada, come say hi. And there we go, now we just need to put the strap back in and it's ready to go. The long awaited, never before seen U of T men's foil versus U of T men's foil. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of us watching, but that's mostly because none of our other teams are actually fencing. But this is just another evening practice for us, so I mean, I get it. Competition does have a different mindset, a different feel. So it's good to have this experience, but still, I kind of wish they hadn't met in the eights. Yeah, go U of T. All right, everyone, just another check-in on the day. It is just about four o'clock now, um, and we are saying hi to Marcy. Um, Yeah, this is the real life of a fencing tournament here. <laughs> so, uh, currently behind me is the men's foil semifinals. This right here is us, um, and we just started. It is currently tied at four points, so long ways to go. Um, a little ways further back over here um, is our saber team going. Um, I believe they are in the eight. Still, Saber had a bit of a delay, and then our two women's F-18s have also both just been called. They're also in semis, and they managed to be on the opposite sides of the tableau. So if they both win this, they're fencing off in finals. So fingers crossed for all of that, but we've got a not a huge amount left to go, and yet somehow these last bouts always seem to take forever. So I will check in with you again later on. And with that, that's a wrap. So we are completely done. We ended up taking the gold and the silver in women's epe today and the gold in men's foil. So overall, we have got five medals from this tournament and won the overall team trophy. So really happy with our performance. Everyone did really, really well. A uh, fair bit of broken equipment, but we'll deal with that when we get home this week. And yeah, so now we're just grabbing some food. As you can see, restaurant behind me. And then we're going to get on the bus and get on our way. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed this, again, glimpse into the life of the Team Armor and sort of what I do to support the team at tournaments. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, so please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.